For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see about DHCP server installation and configuration. How you are going to install a DHCP server in uh, RCL7 or Like, share, comment and subscribe the rse exam point of view how you can going to do that so before knowing about the installation and configuration we just uh, uh, know we have to know about the how the dhcp works so the dhcp uh, working has a process the process called as an a dora d o r a dora process if you can see this um, dora process how this dora process works the dora process in the sense uh, whenever you have a client the client is set up with the uh, get the ip address from the dhcp in the sense auto obtain the ip address from the dhcp server so whenever you switch on that client what happens so it does not know that where is dhcp server is located what it will do is that it will send a broadcast message to the all of the servers with the that dhcp request packet in the sense it sends a discovery uh, to the for the for to know that where is dhcp server is located so then the broadcast will be sent to the all of the uh, network devices or the all of the servers uh, on the uh, network then each of the device will receive that request but uh, the dhcp server can only understand the request means that the broadcast request is for dhcp server then the dhcp server will immediately send an offer to the client saying that as the client will request for an a permanent ip address which means that the ip address which is um, having the uh, internal network IP address range where it is defined uh, for that client or the for, from that um, IP pool range then it will request to assign for one IP address then the DHCP server acknowledge and uh, assign the IP address to the client that is how the uh, the client will get the IP address from the server using this dora process discovers offers request and acknowledgement now let's see this what is the configuration required to do on a dhcp server so if you can go ahead and see this so you have to install the packages called dhcp dhcp is the package name you have to install it and uh, demand name since the service name is dhcpd you have to start it and enable it in order to work dhcp and configuration file is going to be slash etc dhcp slash dhcpd dot configuration in rcl 6 and rcl 7 but if you are looking for the rcl 4 or the rcl 5 the outdated versions which are located in slash etc slash dhcpd dot conf that is the different location for the rcl 5 so the dhcp port number the dhcp port number is 67 okay remember because we have to allow this port from the firewall in order to communicate between the client and server on the dhcp so for installation what we have to do is install dhcp package i mean install dhcp sorry it's a dhcp So now the package has been installed, the DHCP package has been installed. Now we have to enable and the start the uh, services. Okay. In order to do that, you have to use the uh, system CTL enable DHCPD dot uh, service. Okay. The service has been enabled. Now 
start this uh, DCPD service so which is going to be failed because there is no configuration file yet um, because there is no configuration file we have defined yet so the configuration file is going to be in P that's why it failed so in order to enable that DHCP configuration we have to configure the default configuration path from slash usr share doc DHCP based on the version there are the um, DHCP directory will be created okay now dhcpd configuration file dot example so this is the file you have to copy to the slash etc dhcp and dhcpd dot configuration file okay so it says uh, do you want to overwrite the existing configuration yes of course we we have to overwrite it otherwise we cannot uh, enable this configuration so now go ahead and uh, edit this configuration file over here and <clears throat> go to this uh, where there is a subnet is located so here the subnet is located over here in this subnet mask so you have to change your configuration file in the sense which you are looking for exactly the configuration IP addresses you have to um, enable that range example i am looking for 192.168.0.0 sorry 2.0 and what is your subnet mask okay so my subnet mask is 255.255.0 and range from which range your ip address would be uh, given to the clients so i am just specifying 192.168.2. Example say that I want only few IP addresses like from uh, 2.200 to 2.250 only 192.168.2.254. Okay, so always remember that fast few IP address just um, not use uh, like 192.168.2.1 to 255. Do not use that uh, DCP scope like that, but use few range like from 10 to 250 something like that because uh, keep some IP addresses available for the other devices to be uh, assigned with the static IP addresses okay now so what you have to do here it is that you have to domain name servers so in the sense you have to provide your domain name server IP address 192.168.2.43 and my domain naming server server dot take kit dot local is my domain name so this is an a option where you, you are um, rerouting your request to the uh, router 192.168.2.2 is my router and broadcast address so broadcast ip address would be 192.168.2.25 5. so always most of the situations 255 is the broadcast range IP address so this is the configuration you have to change it on the DHCP and save the configuration now restart the DHCP scope okay system CTL restart DHCPD dot service now you can go ahead and check status dhcpd dot service so the dhcp service is running so here actually i am doing this on the vmware but if you have the both that does not going to be work okay so the if one network then you have to use one dhcp only then it works otherwise it's going to be a conflict so if you are doing this uh, practicing or uh, if you are doing any of the environment which has the two dhcp servers then disable one okay in my case what i'm going to do is that i have um, a vmware environment over here and uh, go to this um, network settings okay network editor here actually i have the 
DHCP service enabled already. Then what you have to do is that you have to disable that uh, DHCP settings for the IP range what you are using. So this is the one. So where my DHCP scope is already used local DHCP distribution IP address for this, right? So you have to unselect this one. Otherwise, you cannot get the IP address from the DHCP. So now I have uh, disabled it. Now go ahead. Okay. And what I'm doing is that I have this uh, CentOS box over here. This CentOS box I'm just logging in. Okay. Go to network settings here wired settings okay in this wired settings whenever you go to this um, wired and uh, settings for the profile and go to DHCP and see this there is no DNS server is assigned over here and uh, it says that automatically obtain the IP address from the DHCP so now what you have to do is that Maybe you have to give this DNS IP address 192.168.2.43 over here and uh, apply. Now the IP is from 192.168.2.52. I'm just switching off this wireless uh, wired network over here and again I'm switching back over here. So then it should receive the IP address from DHCP within that range see this you can see this that IP address is came from the DHCP you can see 192.168.2.200 and this this is the IP address which is received from the IP range you can see this the DNS request all the stuff so which means our DHCP server is working fine that's about it guys uh, about the DSCP installation and configuration on an exam point of view for the RSE examination. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and uh, courses. Please follow us on social networking sites. If you have any technical related questions, you can ask.